You may have noticed that these podcasts are generously sponsored, well, self-interestedly sponsored, well, at any rate, sponsored by a brand of men's grooming products, who have decided, for reasons best known to themselves, that their range would profit by being associated with a series of three-minute rants from a man for whom grooming is self-evidently not a burning issue. Well, I want to talk about men's grooming this week, so let me start by saying, on behalf of my sponsor, that I've never bought any of their products. But I was given a few for free, and they represented the best value for money of any shampoo I've ever used. There. The executives of Bulldog may now withdraw to debate amongst themselves whether or not I am worth it. Good. Now then, men's grooming. What? Where has it come from, this idea that men should groom themselves? Surely it used to be the case that for a man to appear to care what he looked like was at least effeminate, if not actually vain. It was shaming to smell of body odour, certainly, but no less shaming to smell of an aftershave that you'd chosen to smell pretty, like a girl. There's an advert out at the moment, for instance, for a deodorant that comes in a little pocket-sized can. The idea being that when, on your masculine rounds, you meet a woman insufficiently impressed by your no doubt magnetic personality and devastating good looks, you can give yourself a quick squirt and the poor girl won't be able to help herself. Now, is this image not just a tiny bit rehypnolly? Not only that, but the product is called the Lynx Bullet. Bullet, really? For shooting women with? From your gun? Though, to be fair, that's only the same pitch perfume advertising has been using for decades. Ladies, this perfume is so effective it's dangerous. One whiff of this and even a gay archbishop will get a raging stiffy and take you roughly in the cloisters. And of course, that's the truth of the butch-sounding bullet. It's a little vial of perfume for men to carry round with them, to top themselves up with a couple of dainty little squirts when they see a lady. And of course, the more feminine a product is, the more masculine and butch the companies have to make it seem. Bullet. Mac 3. Bulldog. But however much you market these things as if they were spaceships or warp drives, they are actually pampering products. Razors, for instance, are all advertised by how science-defyingly smooth they can make your face. But smooth isn't manly. It's girly. They're competing about which of them can make your face girliest. Buy the Gillette Tomahawk for the closest shave so your face can be more like a girl's face. No, don't buy that. Instead, girlify your face with Wilkinson Sword's new man's girling rod. I look forward to the inevitable day when they start selling other providers of softness and comfort this way. Armchairs, for instance. Introducing the new Cozytron 5000. Finally, your ass will conquer the armies of discomfort with the softest armchair invented by science. The first cushion makes you comfy. The second cushion makes you comfier. But the revolutionary new third cushion transports you to a snugness you never dreamt possible. The Cozytron 5000. Breaking the frontiers of snugglydom.